It's very similar to the last as far as the upper end clarity that you have. Still got that Taylor kind of bright, clear tone, but definitely a lot more low end. that's coming through but really even when you play the low strings you can like feel the vibrations even against your body when you play it yeah this one feels great almost a little more bluegrassy tone it kind of starts lending itself maybe even uh lends itself to a little more bluegrass kind of tone uh, just picking it up Well, I got a little more jazzy than blues or bluegrass, but uh, yeah, and I mean, by the way, that's... There's some guitars you can't play that high on, uh, electric guitars, but yeah. Pulled these straight out of the box, and the action, I would have thought they would have had somebody tweak them and look at them uh, to get them set up, but really, I mean, the action all the way up the neck, straight out of the box is just, is ridiculous. I've got guitars back from uh, guys tweaking them for me that didn't play as good as these. So the fact that you can go, and here's the thing, a lot of guys don't have, um, and, and even when you move to a new location or something like that, you may not have like, oh, I need to take it to this luthier and have them, you know, adjust my, um, action or, or the intonation or anything like that. Those are things that just a, a lot of folks don't have access to because they don't know. You know, yeah, the strings are high, but what does that mean? How do you fix it? You know, certainly uh, more, more than I care to deal with myself. So when I get a guitar that feels good automatically, I'm definitely going to play it more. But when you have to try to make appointments, take them to people to fix, especially it's disheartening to buy a new guitar than have to go take it and have it fixed. And Taylor really did everyone a solid by having these guitars come out of their shops and their factory already ready to go and just plug it and go on stage. And that Venetian cutaway, so the last one was uh, was didn't have the Venetian cutaway like this one does, but it really lends itself, especially for more lead line stuff, to play up here where you can't really get to, especially on like a 12 or 14 fret guitar. It really gives you more. I don't know if you'd play up there much, but. The fact that you can is incredible. It's got a Sitka spruce top. It has a layered rosewood back and sides. And uh, you kind of get a look at that there. It's a matte finish. And you can kind of feel the, not feel the grain, but you can kind of see the the uh, the grain in, in very good detail with some binding. Rosewood's gonna give you a little bit deeper tone. This is why you hear that difference. The wood selection has stepped up a little bit on the neck. This is a tropical mahogany neck. And it has a West African Crelicum ebony fretboard and you can even see some of the details I don't know if you uh, if you can see it from there but even on the top side around the, where the body is there's a little bit of character in the wood and a little bit of figuring in the fretboard itself I will say this in this range of guitar um, having solid tuners is very important again you can have the greatest tone woods and upscaled this and that but without good solid tuners it's gonna sound terrible so I think Taylor did a really good job on the 114 as well they just have really good tuners on all their guitars you know guitar players are really finicky we like to buy stuff that's like the best quality and then just go redo it all even on the 114 and the 214 uh, which are still in the technical lower end of the Taylor Spectrum, even the, the tuners and stuff are just really solid and quality, so you don't have to guess, you know, if you're going to go out of tune midway through a song. Also, uh, their end pin system is really great. A lot of guitars, you have to kind of detune the guitar and run your hand in to change the battery. Taylor's uh, really, really stood up for all the guitar players and created an end pin jack where you plug in here, but you can just pop this open and change the battery. So you don't have to, if it goes dead in the middle of a show, you don't have to wait all day and retune and sacrifice, uh, you know, the stretching and the strings and all that stuff that you've already laid down. Also, it has, uh, the batteries are powering the Expression System 2, which is their, uh, their standard um, pickup system. And it's really, really well versed. And we talked about that before. One thing I didn't mention earlier on the 114, and, and uh, this is on all the Expression System, but on the bass and treble, there's a little notch when you hit 12 o'clock. So you kind of can see where it's like flat. So it gives you a kind of a groundwork to go from. If you're real quick and like, oh, I need to get to, to where it's a good position to start with, you know, that 12 o'clock position is where you want to start. 
and uh, they did us a favor by just having a little notch in there. You can feel it when you turn it. So you always know where, where the middle is in case you get lost or the stage is dark or you're reaching real quick. I wouldn't be scared to fly with this guitar. It comes with a structured gig bag. I would get a hard case if you're going to fly with it. This would definitely be um, definitely a tour guitar, uh, a fly guitar, and again, something you could sit around and play uh, in your church, you know, with uh, knowing that you have a really full sound for your uh, audio engineer to work with. There's a lot of low end. There's nothing missing, nothing that he would really have to add. So, uh, so yeah, I think this would be a great, it's a great just all around guitar for sure. And that low end, I can't, I can't get away from that. The clarity with the low end is really where you hear the quality of a guitar start to blossom and start to bloom, especially in some of those uh, big open glues. With the clarity without that low end is just, it's cut and it's clean and concise. But when you start to get that, that bigger low end, it's when you can really get more of the meat out of the... And conversely, low end without clarity is just, it gets lost super quick. So I think they did a great job creating a very well balanced guitar that maintains the brand quality and look, especially with that, that cutaway, but it still, um, still kind of amps it up a little bit and gives you a little bit more to work with on the low end. Uh, yeah, so it's the same expression system as the 114 and it's their industry standard, the Taylor standard. And again, it's just one of those guitars that, you know, one step up to the 214 CE, the increased quality of the uh, the sides and back definitely creates more of a low end presence. So if you're doing a songwriting thing or uh, entry level guitars or just kind of something that you want to have to uh, you know, sit at the campsite and, and kind of hang with the family or do some worship stuff with your small group, you're not super worried about oh listen to that extended low end but when you uh, start getting into the, the two and three series is where I uh, start kind of feeling some different characteristics start to show up but maintain the overall quality of the, the Taylor sound. This guitar when I pick it up it kind of makes me want to just play open lines so you can hear the low end ring a little more and some of those uh, we're talking about bluegrass earlier on this one you know just some of those open or maybe some open Just stuff where you hear it ring more. It's definitely got that kind of uh, character, you know, so you can, uh, and it, it's, it's got a pretty side to it as well with the tone, so you can. Yeah, so just stuff. This guitar makes you want to play notes that ring more. Open string or not, even with the fretboard and the intonation, uh, the action, everything just hangs. So it's kind of got a really... Yeah, so if I'm playing a worship song on this, it's definitely going to be uh, like a build my life type, you know, just solid. are still stretching but yeah definitely just something that's just solid meaty but uh but uh it's got a lot of presence to it each guitar kind of has a song and anybody out there that's uh that plays guitar much will kind of notice that when you pick up guitars it just kind of pulls something different each one and like the 114 when we grabbed it just kind of had this fun loose kind of casual vibe where the tone of this one goes is definitely more uh you can definitely hear it kind of projecting more lead stuff and more like standout lines. So. Uh, that's one thing when you sit in circles and some like jam sessions, backstage jam sessions, you want a guitar that's gonna project more, have a little bit more of a tone uh, that's consistent even at higher volumes or when you dig into it. This outfit is almost screaming khakis. I don't know why. It's just, it's, it's a doctor's guitar. Maybe some Sperry's with it, yeah. 
uh, it's a upper end casual. So this is uh, when you want to go eat with your friends, but you don't wear a ball cap, so you fix your hair. This is this guitar. It's very homey, very comfortable, but at the same time, uh, yeah, you want to look presentable. This guitar, uh, if I had to compare it to a Mill, it's Chipotle. It's got a little bit of everything. You gotta get what you want uh, and still feel good about it. You don't have to <laughs> worry about uh, sacrificing the quality of the ingredients. But yeah, this is definitely a uh, Guac is Extra Chipotle guitar.